my dearest Geminis, and welcome to your weekly love tarot reading for the week of August the 10th up until August the 18th. Also, please do remember that this is a general reading and energies are fluid, so they take time to pick up pace depending on the situation at hand. So please be patient with the energies. And thank you so, so much to all of my current subscribers. I love you guys so, so much. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it at the end of the reading. This really helps to support me and my channel to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. So I am setting the intention right now for everyone who likes and subscribes to receive back 10 times more love, blessings, and abundance for your love and support. And for personal readings, I now have openings. So please do check the description box below. With Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. All right. So hello, my dearest Geminis. How have you guys been? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start calibrating to the energies of my dearest Geminis. Thank you so much, my guides, my angels, for providing any messages and guidance that my dearest Geminis are here seeking to find. Okay, always remember that energies are fluid. If I'm not talking about you, it's a possibility that I'm picking up on the energies of the person that you are dealing with or the situation at hand. So always, always take it as it resonates, okay? Always remember that energies can be reversed as well, okay? So feel free to reverse the energies at will. And this can also be for your sun, moon rising or your Venus placements. Now, my dear Geminis. You are starting this week with the dominant energy of the, wow, choices, choices, decisions to make, okay? Somebody here is feeling a little bit restless, maybe too much going on, too much on your plate, okay? Either you or this other person, we're going to figure out what exactly this is. And I also feel like somebody's feeling a little bit guarded, but guess what? There's an offer or an apology or a gesture of love coming in your way after some kind of sneaky behavior, okay? Perhaps you kind of feel like this person is a little bit sneaky. You're not sure whether you can trust them or not okay maybe they did something in the past but guess what you're coming in with clear communication you're coming in in your power in your strength ready to communicate whatever it is that needs to be communicated i feel like there's there will be a brand new beginning okay although you're not going to be sure how to go about this because this might be a brand new person for some of you it's a brand new person for others of you it might be a person from your past okay I do sense that, Geminis, you have recently changed, you have recently transformed, you have recently moved forward, you have recently expanded your own energy after a period of feeling in denial, after a period of feeling like this person was projecting some of their fears onto you, some deceit, some anxiety. You are no longer repressed with anxiety. You are no longer repressed with all of this dishonest energy that was coming your way because guess what? Now here you are standing in your power, in your strength and this person sees you as very seductive very sexy very attractive okay they do they do like this about you they feel like um they like they like your confidence they're, they're very drawn in uh by your confidence even though i sense that your confidence scares this person your intensity frightens your person okay your intensity frightens them but it also allures them it's like at the same time right it's like a double-edged short excuse me a double-edged sword right which is very gemini of you right you have these two sides it's like this very very sensitive side to you very vulnerable side where you open your heart but then there's this very confident bold energy assertive energy that comes through uh through that vulnerability as well and they really really are drawn in by that that very um dualistic energy that you portray especially this week i do sense that for you my dear gemini's you are starting on a brand new journey this is a brand new beginning for you guys whether it's on this journey with this person or on on this journey uh, towards yourself with yourself you know learning about yourself um, loving yourself more okay I feel like um in the past you did deal with a lot of them um, I feel like you need a lot of uh, change a lot of them um, like constant change in direction okay and I feel like this person was keeping you um, they were kind of like keeping you from expanding your energy okay now I do sense that some kind of conflict that you guys came across this person will be apologizing very soon or will be coming in with a gesture of love okay it doesn't have to be them it could be you uh, meeting up with somebody who feels like home to you it could be a brand new person who you start interacting with 
from the point of you know you wanting to expand your horizons maybe a person on the internet that you meet online okay or maybe uh that you plan on maybe you plan on traveling okay and and maybe you know you come across this person while traveling it could be uh, locally you know it doesn't have to be anywhere anywhere too far but let's go ahead and get some clarifiers for you because i do sense that you are coming in very very clearly this week with a lot of confidence okay you have uh, clarity as to what you want what you don't want what you're going to put up with and what you're not oh wow look at that that just wanted to flip out yeah so i do sense that you are very stable in your energies you might meet a person who is very stable as well very very um like financially wow financially stable okay i feel like uh, the brand new person that you meet will help you in your career, will help you develop whatever project it is that you've been trying to get off the ground, okay? It doesn't have to be projects. It could just be yourself, okay? It could po possibly be a stable connection, a, a stable relationship. But I do feel like right now you're not too sure whether to commit to this person or not because I do sense that you've already been through a lot and this is a time to love yourself and to put all that energy within yourself, okay? I feel like right now, right now you're not too open emotionally i feel like you are open to passionate connections at this moment gemini i feel like you're open to learning about this person exploring them a little bit more but you're not ready to go to give away your heart just yet okay which is a good thing because again i feel like you just closed out a cycle uh it could be with this person or with somebody from your past you know but there's a cycle, a phase of a relationship that recently came to a close, okay? You recently closed out this connection. This person right now is feeling very regretful, okay? They feel like, you know, they're, they're just afraid to take that next step. And you kind of were like, okay, well then if you're afraid to take that next step, um, I'm not and I'm ready for my own expansion, okay? So I do feel like they feel badly uh, for the way that they treated you, whoever is here, you know, being represented by your past, but they do feel like you did not deserve of everything that they put you put you through I do sense that um, they kind of don't want you to take this personally because they know that it was them you know they're very regretful which means that you know they know that it was it was it was them yeah there's some kind of disconnect you're not ready right now to open up your heart but you are ready to explore new ventures you are ready to get to know somebody um, little by little but let's go ahead and see I want to know what this ace of wands is here in the reverse yeah, so you're ready to explore, but you're not ready to give away your heart. Exactly. See, you're not ready for any kind of commitment. I feel like right now, you're just trying to see what this person really means to you, okay? You want to know exactly, because you've already been there. You've already given your heart away. You've already waited for a long time for a person who did not reciprocate. And I feel like this is a time when you are ready to go within yourself, within your own mind, within your own heart, and see what exactly this person means to you, okay? Or what this new venture, what this new idea means to you okay it could be in the form of a person in the form of an idea but i do sense that right now you're not ready to jump fully into a commitment and if this person wants to come in with an apology maybe he's telling you oh why don't you move back into my place you know i don't feel like you're ready to do that yet because i feel like you want to know you want to know and be sure that this person is ready to give an equal give and take i feel like they they did a lot of talking in the past okay a lot of like um romantic gestures sure you know a lot of like chatting you know chatting away maybe they used to call you a lot maybe they used to text you a lot but as far as actions being concerned i don't feel like this person was was really um giving much of themselves yeah i feel like this person you know they kind of are projecting a lot of their insecurities their loneliness onto you but you right now you know you're in your power you are being represented by this beautiful magician energy you are manifesting gemini right now you are expanding your own, your own energies and you are no longer afraid to speak up for yourself you are no longer afraid to to go out on your own you're no longer afraid to um to just speak your own mind whether it's with your family whether it's with your friends whether it's with your you know whatever you know just people people in general you're no longer afraid to create any kind of conflict before you were afraid to be yourself because you were afraid to not be liked by people or by this person you were afraid about what this person had to say but no longer you're ready to spread your wings and fly you're ready to socialize to be social to be a social butterfly you're ready to meet new people which i'm loving your energy you're no longer waiting now this person is waiting for you yeah because i feel like this person might be a little bit angry at this moment okay so they might be coming across as a excuse me across as a little bit pushy maybe they might be coming across very pushy to, uh, towards your energy their intensity is is sort of like um 
being multiplied by a hundred um, this week because they do feel like this this is a soulmate connection and they do feel like they are losing you okay because right now see look at this you're standing in your power in your strength it's like they cannot mess with your mind anymore they used to play very a lot of mind games and they, they can no longer play you anymore and so this is driving them crazy I feel like they're kind of like needing to back off you might have to tell them they need to back off because they're coming in very very strongly you're not ready for any anyone to control you anymore Anymore. You don't want any controlling energy uh, around you uh, because you've already dealt with it. What you really want is a Ten of Cups, but it, the Ten of Cups meaning like this beautiful, beautiful connection, but not with somebody who's trying to get away with something, okay? I feel like you already dealt with somebody who who was a little bit like sneaky, okay, and they just wanted to it's sort of like an empty victory. They were kind of like always competing with your energy, you know, like the any time you, you said you wanted to do something new, they kind of felt like it was competition. Like they kind of would try and like, you know, shoot it down with, with some kind of negativity or critical, um, you know, maybe um, they were criticizing your uh, whatever ideas you had, okay? Uh, but this is all because their fears. They were very, very afraid that you would walk away. And for some of you guys, I feel like you have already walked away. Now this person is stuck loving you, being in love with you, okay, wanting in the beginning, but I feel like for some of you guys, it's not the right time because you're still working on your self-esteem. This person really shot down your self-esteem and right now you're working on, on gaining your back, your power, gaining back your energy because this person was a burden to you. This was very, very burdensome for you, okay? This person put a lot on your plate. You were doing way too much for the connection. This person was just burden, burdening you with a lot of like emotional, um, just manipulation and even um, mental, like psychological um, manipulation as well maybe there was a lot of codependency energy this person was very codependent on your energy it's like they only looked for you whenever they needed a boost in their self-esteem okay or whenever they needed money from you or something from you but you're ready for some kind of a commitment okay do sense that you're ready for some kind of of a commitment uh now let's go ahead and see what the guides and angels have for you this week my dear gemini's but i'm loving your energy i'm really loving how you're coming across you're coming across very clear-minded okay you're in your power you're standing in your power in your strength and you're no longer dealing with any sneaky behavior okay i feel like you've already gone within done the work and now this person's the one that's very depressed right now because you don't want any kind of just um i feel like you're 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 done with just like um like um foolishness okay i feel like um this person maybe there was just a lot of physical activity maybe physical um you know like intimacy but nothing more than that and you are ready for something brand new okay yes you are learning more about yourself but you're you're embracing this learning energy you're embracing this energy of okay i want to learn what's out there i want to learn more about my own energy i want to learn more about my own empowerment because you've already felt how good it feels to love yourself to empower yourself how good it feels to draw in energy without having to uh, to to put in so much effort you know it's like to put in so much effort where it's not reciprocated but let's go ahead and see what the guides and angels have for you this week what do my guides and angels have for my dear Gemini's this week peace yeah a lot of you guys are letting this person go it's like okay if it's meant to be this person will come back and if it's not meant to be then you know what hey at least i made the right decision for now you know what to do okay here we have i'm gonna read this that went out for you see how this beautiful angel is letting this beautiful dove go that's because they know that you know what if this dove does not want to reciprocate then they're just gonna let them go so you a lot of you guys are just letting go of this person okay and if this person wants to come back whenever they're ready then they will here we have peace angel camuel peace Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. You know that manipulation is not love. You know that psychological trauma is not love. You know that control is not love, okay? You're learning how to love yourself and I'm loving it. Here we have, you know what to do, Gemini. Angel Uriel, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. A lot of you guys know what to do this week. You already have the inner knowledge, the inner knowing that you guys have to release a lot of burdens, okay? And maybe this person as well. It could be for the time being. It doesn't have to be forever. But here we have the law of attraction. Once you release this person, all of your manifestations will come into fruition. A lot of times, once you release something that does not serve you and that you're trying to keep to yourself it's like you're you're forcing it to stay with you that's why you're not seeing manifestations come into fruition but once you release that person that no longer serves you okay and if they want to come back in the future they will that's when all of your law of attraction manifestations start coming into your reality which i love let's go ahead and see one more 
see only love yeah i feel like for a lot of you guys you're learning not to hold any grudges you're learning not to hold any regrets you're learning to see only love look past the seeming errors mistakes and misunderstandings and see only the love that is within each person including yourself you're learning not to hate yourself for putting up with whatever it is that you put up with you're learning to love yourself you're learning that you are learning about love you are learning about connections you are learning about yourself okay your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing and underneath and un in undreamed of ways excuse me all right my dear gemini's but i do hope that you enjoyed your reading i do hope that it resonated let me know in the comments below if it did and let me know what's going on i really love reading all of your stories believe me i read every single one of your messages thank you so so much for sharing that in your comments below if you did enjoy this reading please do give it a thumbs up it really helps to support me and my channel and if you have not yet subscribed please do subscribe to my channel it really helps for me to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. Um, without further ado, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah.